they received another full run of Sovietic Heimland in five huge boxes. And the, the librarian at the Jewish Academy told me, would you like to take it home? Because we simply don't have enough space for it. And I was so happy. Even though this wasn't my favorite Yiddish publication, I just couldn't resist the, the temptation. I took the, these boxes and I, I uh, uh, took them on the subway and brought them to my apartment. My parents weren't happy. Uh, they were uh, filled with all kinds of interesting articles. And as I said, at least the letters looked Jewish. The illustrations looked Jewish. Once you opened them, you could see Jewish faces. You could see pictures of, you know, Jewish shtetlach in Eastern Europe. But by that time, I could read Yiddish. And I was unpleasantly uh, surprised. I was shocked by the by the uh, anti-Zionist, anti-Israel, and essentially anti-Jewish vitriol that you could find on the pages of Soviet Heimland. It's a very interesting um, chapter in the history of Yiddish culture in the 20th century. What happened to Yiddish culture in Russia?